happy. This is the third tutorial and this shows you how to do dimensions. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these both and I'm going to lock them to the desktop. That way they're not going to move on me. I'm just going to zoom in and we're working pretty much on this one here. I might take it out one more. All right, so I need my line tools. Um, so things don't get annoying. See my fills on, I'm going to turn my fill off. And my line tool for the moment, just so I can see what I'm doing. You know, I'm just going to do it all in pink. Um, grabbing this. Now my stroke's on um, 0 0.353. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner because these lines then look really good against your actual drawing lines. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm drawing a little line like this. And that's going to be my guide. And now I'm going to select it. And I'm going to go to Transform. And see there, I want to change this to 10 millimetres. 10 millimetres equals one centimetre, doesn't it? So that's my little tool that I'm going to use. That's how far apart my dimension lines have to be from my object. So that part there is probably the part that sticks out the most. So what does this mean? I'm going to just draw a couple of straight lines. One. Um, let's go copy paste. I've got another one. And paste and another one. So there's three dimension lines on each side. So this one here is going to come into here like this. Grab my little measuring stick, do this. Next one's going to come here. Grab my little measuring stick, put that there, etc. Awesome. Zoom out. Okay. Now I need some horizontal lines or horizontal dimension lines, like so. Grab my little stick, copy and paste it. Then I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Rotate it on 90. And this time I'm going to use this little measuring stick down here. Okay, so this one here is going to go here. I'll zoom in a little bit so I do a better job. This one here. Okay, copy paste. This one's going to go here. That there. Okay, copy paste. And here's my last one on this side. Let's zoom out. Okay, and let's put this little fella up here. All right, now I can actually grab all three of these lines, paste, bring these dudes up here, grab this little fella, bring it over here, to the part that sticks out the most, grab these guys, copy paste, and we bring them over here. Yeah. So I can actually get rid of these now. Don't really need those at all. Okay, now. Um, what I'm going to do here now is um, make these a little bit longer until they touch. See, we need that to touch pretty much actually there. See, beautiful work. Okay, now I'm going to grab another one of these, copy paste. So these are dimension lines. Now this little fella here is a projection line. And I'm going to sit this here. Okay. Sit it there like that, then I'm just going to bring it down a little bit because it doesn't need to actually touch our object. But see it's sort of lined up with the edge of that Maddie. Now just zoom in. These are going to come, oh come on you, zoom in a bit more. Keyboard's not behaving itself tonight for me Maddie. So that can go here. Oops. That's also going on. Now, the dimension that's the dimension line. This is the projection line. The projection line just hangs over a couple of millimeters, like so. Now I need to do the same thing. Copy paste. Bring this one over here. Zoom out a little bit. And what I do is I line this up with this. Ah, that's beautiful. Bring it down. Like so. That should be lined up with this one. And now to finish this off. I'm going to line these up. Missed it by a mile. Beautiful. Beautiful. And beautiful. And we zoom out. That is ready to go. So now I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to quickly do these other ones here. 
actually you can do one thing that's really cheeky if you wanted to is we can actually copy it. We can actually select all of this, copy it and then flip it and put it up here or paste it and flip it and put it up here. Anyway, but let's go. It's going to line this one up to here. So it just hangs beyond and paste. Same thing, line it up with the edge. Take it up to here until it lines up with this one. Zooming in, and off I go again. And here comes the next one, like so. So this, we should be able to, ah, beautiful, look at that. Now, I think they are hanging over a little bit, so we might just bring them down a little bit. We really only want these projection lines hanging over a couple of millimetres. So again, we can bring that one down as well. So it's just hanging over a few millimetres. Zooming out, okay, so we've got three there and three there, and now it's just to finish off with these ones. So we'll zoom in again. I'm actually gonna be cheeky and steal this. Do a copy and paste. Okay, so that can go here and this can just go here. So we've got a little bit of a crossover. See that? Just a little bit of a crossover. This is going to come because it's going to just hang over a little bit. So this one here can come. This one here can come as well. And this one here comes to here. Now, this looks messy, doesn't it? So because of that, we're actually going to take this so it just comes to here like that. And this one here, same thing, looks way neater, getting all those lines out of that way where it just confuses the target audience. Copy and paste. Now this one, this one lines up with here, Maddie. And again, get rid of this. And I'm thinking we might even need to get rid of this one here as well, shorten that one as well. And these guys here come to here. All right, Maddie, what do you think? Less confusing? Indeed. And now, just to show you a trick, I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to grab all of this, copy, paste. Then I have to go to Object, Transform. I'm going to go to Reflect. And see, I want this one, make sure it's on vertical and go OK. And then I should be able to pretty much just line that up into there like that. Um, just zoom in to make sure I've got it lined up. Did I get that one? Yes, I did. We just want this to come down a bit, don't we? Beautiful. And then that one there is hanging over as well a bit too much. And that one there can hang over a little bit. And let's see what's going on down here. Yep, it's hanging over. This needs to come down. It slipped when I wasn't looking. Just tidying that up. And we can zoom that. We can have a look. All right, all your dimension lines are on there, Maddie. Next thing we need to do is put numbers on here. Um, before I forget though, how about now we write in capital letters, so always the case, you can write floor plan and that goes in the centre here and then we can go here, front L elevation which also goes into here like that. Um, so next tutorial we'll put the dimension numbers on and also a title block.